I listen to me, I come here from 92. I never play basketball yet, you know. I swear I do, I am. I do, you understand? I just come over here, come jog. I one and two times, Monday evening time, and when I'm up, they show them. But I'm not a basketball fan. I know. As a soccer fan, or football, anyone you want to call it, or that I play, but that no means I can't still do a thing for the youth. So, we're going to do a thing for you, they want us that, yes, sir. To me, Wingate is hallow grounds for basketball because even as bad as the floors look now, it's been like this for the last 10, 15 years. But there was a point where when tournaments was out here, all the best ball players came out here to play. We had the best tournament in Brooklyn. And it's been like that since before I got in here when they had um, um, Reginald Nero on tournaments. They had Nike one. They had a lot of great basketball players pass through here. It's no more tournaments, so there's no more um, grade A competition. You know what I'm saying? That last shootout, it evaporated the, the, the basketball college. Ain't no more Division One players coming out here, so it's kind of dry. 30, going back 30, 40 years, I think Wingate would be a Brooklyn Mecca, basically. But there's not. Like, Charles Jones came in here. Like hot sauce, we was on we, they were on ESPN. And he was out here playing against hot sauce. They they threw it. It was instant coverage. They they right, put it on right. um, um, Sports Center. They introduction. If you look closely, you know it's history here. It's just uh, Wingate Park's an institution in Brooklyn, this particular community, and then in the West Indian community as large. So, as a West Indian American, Brooklyn born, this means a lot to me. This park, meaningful place, man. Got a net, man. If you're in the park with it out of the net, that means you ain't a baller. You know what I'm saying? Buy a net for most. It don't cost much because the slicker is gonna put it up. Hachi Tachi. <laughs> 